Okay, as you can see, here is the lid. And what I've done was, is after all of this glued, remember I spray painted it uh, with that cream color um, primer paint uh, from Cryline. Um, links will be in the description below. Um, also, this is what the base looks like. It's so pretty. I mean, it's gorgeous the way it is, but I want to step it up a notch and kind of give it some um, aging a look to it. So I pulled out some acrylic paint. I pulled out espresso bean and I pulled out uh, light cinnamon. Now what I want to do is also grab you some white. What I want to do is just kind of mix the two together here on my palette and then I'm going to use these um, stippling brushes uh, from Finnabar Art Basics. I have a smaller one to get in the more smaller uh, areas and then I have a larger one so I'm going to be doing that and that's you're going to be watching this process as it happens Okay, as you can see, all I did was paint on the paint and then took it off with a rag. And to give that crosshatch pattern look, like that vintage-y crosshatch pattern, when you wipe it off, wipe it in all directions, um, and it will give you that, that scratchy um, look, just like this. Just, and I'm using just an old wash rag um, that I had in my... dash here. And there you go. Looks good. 
Next step is you're going to take a um, a finer brush here, just like an old beat up brush, and in the crevices that you can see right down in there, you know how you can see right down in there, what you're going to do is you're just going to take this paintbrush and you're going to very carefully get in the crevices like so. And what this does is, is it highlights the roses a little bit better, as you can see there. And then be sure to go back in and wipe off any excess paint, like so. So pretty. I'm going to do this side, do a little bit there, a little bit there, then you're going to continue this process until you ha are satisfied uh, with um, your crevices and stuff of that nature, and as you see here, we're just going. That's why I'm using the old brush. And it's not as dark as it is appearing on uh, the screen. For some reason, I can't get my uh, lighting correct. So, um, of course, I always have uh, photos. So, there will be photos at the end of this step for sure. So you can see how it's coming about. There we go. So I'm going to continue this process and uh, I'll pop back in. Okay, here's another um, tip that I'm going to show y'all. Once you get down into the crevices and everything, you know, and you just want to kind of just lightly remove the paint, what I want you to do is you can take your clean stipple brush, put some water in it, just like that, and then you're going to Tap, 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 tap. And what this is going to do, this is going to really lighten up areas because this is acrylic paint. And this opens up for the pieces to look like, you know, they're meant to be there. You just take it, you brush. And what you're doing is, is you're just taking, you're just making the roses a little more vibrant because there's another step. Oh, yeah. So don't take all your paint away. Just take enough to lighten up the process here. Now, you, of course, do not have to do it this way. You can leave it that dark color. It's all up to you. But, and see, it don't take much water at all. And you don't have to get the Finnabar brush. You can get any stencil brush will do. You just want that rough. how it's really popping now it's looking very good so that's what I'm going to be doing and I'm going to continue this process by getting into the crevices of stuff and some people might ask well why didn't you paint it before um, you put the roses on well if I did that 
the the glue wouldn't work. Um, the E6000 would not glue to a layer of paint. So I spray painted it with a primer, like a matte primer. And then that gave it enough tooth for the glue to adhere to. And don't use it on your base coat. Don't use a shiny base coat just for that particular reason. Um, your glue won't stick to it. And um, it just, it'll peel off really easy and stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue this process of filling in the areas and wiping off the... Um, excess paint using my brush here and uh, so enjoy the process. Okay, so now that that step is done, now I'm going in to color the roses, and I'm going to show you how I did it. I used uh, Royal Fuchsia Deco Art paint. I used a dab of red, True Red Americana Deco Art paint, and I used a touch of the same brown that I used before, the Espresso Bean. And I come up with this mauve dark mauve color. And what I'm doing is, is I got two brushes loaded. 
as you see there. And what I do is, is I go in here and I really concentrate on the center there. Like so. You know. Push it in the creases there. And then I take a damp paper towel. And I dab away. And what that does is that puts that dark pink in the crevices there. And as you see, if you want more of your petals showing in white, you just go back through and you wipe away the excess. See? And then if you want it darker in some areas, just take your paintbrush and you can paintbrush them on like that. Paintbrush it like that. And then you're going to dab, 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 dab. Just like so. And there you go. So I have a lot of roses I need to paint. So I hope you enjoy this process. It's going to be a lot. <laughs>
I've done finishing up the last rows and then all you need to do is like if you need to touch up some areas like you want to add a little more um, pink to the area or you want to you know you just sit there hang on there you just sit there and you um, go through there and you know make the areas darker than others and then I'm gonna do the leaves the same way so I'm gonna pick out probably I've got I'm gonna get a light green and a dark green and let's see I'm gonna mix this is um, classic green that's what it says Classic green. Oh, hang on, y'all. I gotta shake these up. Don't you hate that? <laughs> okay, so. Alright. I'm gonna put just a tab in there. And then, of course, I'm gonna put a drop of brown because we don't want our colors we're going to see how this looks looks like mint chocolate don't it something minty and chocolate oh yeah that's a perfect sage right there see how beautiful that is perfect surge. so again that is using the cocoa bean and I'll have a list of all these paint colors uh, down below, so don't worry about that. Okay, so um, now I'm going to clean off my brush. I should have done it before. It's not going to be perfect, perfect, but it'll do, it'll do, it'll do. Okay, so again, all I'm going to do is grab a little bit of this and I'm going to staple that on. And I might use a paintbrush this time. I don't know. Let's see. Because there's a lot of little bitty baby leaves. Yeah, I'm going to have to use a paintbrush. So, just go through and paint everything that needs to be green, like so. And if you make a little mess, you can clean it up with a little bit of water. And then just go back through with a paper towel. Now this is the first, maybe the first coat or the only coat. I don't know. I do it as I go. So to see how it's going to look. And if you get green on your roses or anything, like I said, just take a little bit of water and everything. So now I'm going to go through here and do all the leaves. <laughs> all right.